Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel and thanks for logging on. I always thought it was best to let a minute repeater speak for itself and this reversal repetition is no exception. Welcome to our channel. Please subscribe and if you enjoy this watch, of course you can see it and purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. Today we are discussing the 1994 Chagere Lecoultre Reverso Repetition, a 500 piece limited series. This was the first ever series Chagere Lecoultre minute repeater wristwatch and the first ever Reverso repeater wristwatch. 42 millimeters from lug to lug. The timepiece is remarkably under 10 millimeters thick at only 9.6 millimeters thick and you can see as I zoom out and show you the watch in proportion on my wrist that it's anything but a giant given that it is a high complication, a complication that typically occupies an immense amount of space, but 42 millimeters by approximately 26 millimeters across the wrist means that this is one of the smallest minute repeaters ever designed for a wristwatch case. It actually harks back to the era of pendant watch minute repeaters. It is that compact. On my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, it wears easily on this rarely seen beads of rice bracelet. While 500 of these watches were made, very, very few of them, perhaps only a few dozen, included the factory red gold bracelet to match. One more shot on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist, and note if you want to throw the watch on a strap after purchasing it, the space between the lugs is 19 millimeters. There's an interesting ergonomic equation that changes when you move this watch from a strap to a bracelet. Normally, the strap fights you, it flares, it's downwardly inflexible, and it makes it harder to wear a watch, even of this modest size, on a small wrist. But the bracelet pulls straight down around a small wrist, meaning there's absolutely no fight and flare, and I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference on the bracelet. The bracelet is beautifully made. Each of the individual beads features a handsome, striking, and complex faceting. It's a combination of creasing and curves, and the light does incredible things across those facets. You can see in profile that the bracelet is held together by screws, so no weird spring bars or pin sleeves here. You can size this one easily at home with a jeweler's screwdriver. A double fold deployment clasp, close it up, it's low in profile, it's handsome, and it features an exquisitely understated Chagere Lecoultre logo. Jump back to the case flank, you can see that the track for the minute repeater features an engine turned perlage internally, but the reverso case is iconic and consistent. It's what we would have expected as early as 1931, when the first of the reversos were created as a reversible case sports watch for British polo players. The idea then was that you would simply turn the watch over and expose its solid case back to the blows of the mallets. Once the game was done, you could turn the watch over and once again expose the vulnerable glass of the watch. And it truly was glass in 1931. Well, by 1994, when JLC was pulling itself off the mat from the quartz crisis of the 80s and 70s, the company wanted to make a statement about its comeback capabilities, including in the realm of complications. So the reverso case with its Art Deco glory, the contrast between straight lines and curves, lines and cones, curves and cones, rectangles angles and circles was drawn as the only design icon of the brand, so six limited edition complicated reversos were built between 1991 and 2000, each in an edition of 500 pieces, and the Minute Repeater is my favorite from the series. You get a sense of how small the movement really is when you move the case out of the way and realize that the minute repeater sits inside the mobile portion of the case. Indeed, it is one of the smallest repeaters ever made. JLC created a manual wind, 21 six beat rate, 45 hour power reserve, 38 joule caliber 943. You wind it and it has a wonderful winding click that feels and sounds as good as a luxury manual wind caliber should. And although minute repeaters typically did not include visible components on minute repeaters of the pocket watch era. Here you can see that the governor system, featuring weights that pivot on jewels, was made visible on the dial side of the watch. The governor slows down the cadence of the chimes, so rather than sounding like a rattling alarm clock, it has that lovely musical, lyrical pace to it. Now, of course, if you want maximum minute repeater action, you set the watch to 12.59, because it will chime 12 hours, three quarters, and then 14 individual minutes. So you have one of the world's smallest minute repeaters inside this case, and it was designed with consultation from Audemars Piguet, Renault et Papy, and it was one of the first projects managed entirely by a young Eric Coudre, who would go on to design the Chagere Lecoultre Gyro Tourbillon series, as well as the Fusée 
multi-axial tourbillon watches for Cabestan. This is an historically important landmark timepiece, a universal size, a rarity, a high complication, and one of the smallest ever made, one of the most important Jajero watches ever constructed and a reverso to boot. This example is fitted with a rare factory full red gold bracelet. See it and live the dream on the watch box.